Hello, this is Selena of Rain City Creativity. I had uh, come across uh, some of my old card samples and uh, saw the pinwheel design card. This is from about you know, 10 years ago. And um, I was involved in a Christmas shoebox swap uh, this last weekend. And so I made this card. And people liked it. I like it. But then when I got home, I thought, okay, is there a way to update the design. And I'll show you what I did. I'm also going to do a really, really quick review on how to do the pinwheel design. Um, there's lots of in-depth tutorials out there, but this is just going to give you an idea um, if you've never seen it before on how to assemble it. It's very easy. So here we go. Now, with respect to this, I thought, okay, is there a way to um, add another pinwheel in here, either a bigger one or a smaller one. And this is what I came up with. So what I did was I halved all of the measurements and I'm going to put the measurements in the description, but I'm going to show you what they are now. So first of all, for the regular standard size, what you need is you need two of these squares where you glue them together and make it look like a star and that is two and five eighths so that looks like um, oop, uh, two and uh, one two three four five so it's the little bit bigger line after the two and a half and then you need eight of the small little squares and these are one and a quarter. Okay. So you need eight of those little squares and two of the the bigger ones. Now with this one the little small center pinwheel the measurements for that are one and three eighths, that's for the, the smaller, you need two of them. And that, and then five eighths is for the little tiny ones. These little ones, five eighths, and then one and three eighths. One and uh, one, two, three eighths, right there. And then the other one is five eighths. So, one, two, three, four, five. So that's where that is. Anyway, so that turned out quite nice. This is for a friend of mine who just had twins. And I had ordered a, a bought, actually I should say, bought a stamp set from Stampin' Up! And it was for twins. I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I buy this? Well, I'm glad I did. I was able to use it at least once. So there's this. Now, the other thing too is I thought, okay, how do you soften up the look a bit? And I thought, okay, maybe we can do something with these little corners. Now, I used a corner rounder, and yeah, that was okay. But I wanted something a little bit more exciting than that. So I tried using a corner punch, and that was a nightmare. I could not get anything to line up. I couldn't get the measurements right, so no. So then I able to come up with this design on the corners and this is using remember these a decorative edge scissors um, these you know they're from like 10 years ago I actually bought these at Goodwill and I'm and I've seen them at the dollar store too so I'm going to show you how I did the little edges. So, first though, the review. Now, I'm not going to put together all of the eight. I've already done five of them, uh, of the squares. So, what you do is you just alternate your designs and put each one in the... Uh, the little spoke of the star. I know, I know it's not spoke, but the thing. And then this one will go in the next one. 
and you see you're making a pinwheel. The last one is the tricky one. Well, it's not tricky, but the only thing you have to remember is it slides in the first one that you'd set down. So, and don't worry about this because I've got a center for it. Okay, now, before I glue those down, how I did it with the edge scissors, which I have them here. Oh, here they are. So I took a just a piece of uh, paper and took off a little corner and then lined it up and with uh, a pencil made a mark on the corner. Now, the reason you do that is if you don't, you're going to get a wobbly corner. But see, you just follow the, oops, there we go, follow the line, and you'll get a nice straight corner. Uh, let me just quickly get these out of the way. And last but not least, this one. Okay. So now... Going back to here, only put adhesive in the bottom of your little square because then you can maneuver it. Take it, I'm even, but not even. Okay, so there's that one. Next one is this one. Take off my adhesive. That one, it's there. Okay, and then. This is the last one. Now, the only, not tricky part, but uh, with this, the last little square has to fit under the first square you did. And that will fit right there. Okay. Oh, and it looks like my gem fell off. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that. So, there's that's how that looks. And then I'm going to just put my center uh, like that. And look how nice that looks. Now, that is going to go on. Um, my first Hobby Lobby haul, I bought some boxed cards. So I made a little folio cover thing. Um, put them in, and then this is just going to, I'm going to just adhere it to that. That'll look okay. So, I hope you liked uh, my video. It's, um, it, again, it, it was more just to give you some ideas on how to update the uh, pinwheel design, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please give me a big old like, and subscribe, and have yourself a great, wonderful day. Thanks, bye.